Good morning everybody. As you know our school value at the moment is love and over the weekend I've been thinking a little bit about love and Valentine's Day. Now as I'm sure lots of you know Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February and on that day people often give and receive cards showing someone that they love them. And as I was thinking about Valentine's Day I suddenly thought that People do things every day that show that they love you. So it doesn't really matter if on one particular day of the year you get a card or not. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some objects that remind me that people care about me. And I want you to just look first and guess what you think that object is showing. So here's my first one, if you can see, it's a mug. Now, as I'm sure you've probably guessed, this object was given to me by my three children several years ago. And sometimes when we're at home, and especially at the moment, they will make me a cup of tea and bring that cup of tea to me in that mug. And that small act of kindness shows me that even though as all families, sometimes we have little disagreements, my children love me. I'm gonna show you another item now. This is actually a candle. And another one that's on the same theme which is this one, which used to have a gift in it. Now, both of those uh, things were given to me by one of the classes that I taught several years ago. I used to teach year two children and we spent the year together. And at the end of that year, the children gave me lots of gifts and that candle and some of them were in that, that bag. And that showed me that throughout the year, we'd all got on really well together and the children and I had built up a relationship and that there was love in that relationship. There was a loving relationship. I'm gonna show you one final thing. Now, this is a little bit of a Mrs. Bond's history here. There we go. Now, this is a picture of when I got married in 1999, as my husband and I. Um, and obviously a marriage is a time full of love but the thing that's particularly poignant for me about that picture which I'll just show you again is not actually me and my husband but it's what we're doing and you can see here we had a beautiful cake now that cake was bought prepared and made for me by my grandmother and she did that to show me that she loved me and even though my grandmother's no longer here with us now, it's a lovely reminder every time I look at that picture that that day was a day full of love, not just between my husband and myself. I want you to think now of examples in your life of things that happen that show you that someone cares for you. Maybe it's when mum or dad or your carer makes you food, someone else in your family reading you a story or maybe when we're back at school or before before we went off for the coronavirus a friend asking you to play or someone taking care of you when you fall over so if we just think back to how we started this and i was talking about valentine's day valentine's day is a good reminder of the importance of people telling one another that they love them but every single day gives us the opportunity to do just that. So I want you to think today about all the people who have shown you love. And I think today would be a really good day, as we reflect on this value, for you to thank those people. So today would be a good day to say to mum or dad or your carer, thank you very much maybe for making your bed maybe for cooking you lunch 
maybe for reading you a story. But just saying thank you to those that show you love means that you will get love in return. We're going to think now about what the Bible says about love, because as we've said before, there are many passages in the Bible that touch on this extremely important Christian value. There are many bits in the Bible. For example, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, it says, God is love. And another part of the Bible, a very short bit that I'm going to read you now from one of the Gospels, John chapter 3, verse 16. And I'm just going to read that to you now. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So what that teaches us is that God, who is love, loved us so much that he sent Jesus into the world to die for us, that we could be forgiven. So not only does the Bible tell us that God loves us, it also tells us how we should love other people. John chapter 13 verses 34 to 35 says, Jesus says, a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 tells us, that we should love our enemies and pray for those who hurt us. We're now going to have a moment of quiet reflection. In this quiet time, I want you to think, can you think of someone who has shown you in some way that they love you? Have you ever said thank you to that person? Even if you haven't said thank you, have you shown by your actions that you are grateful? Is there someone at home today to whom you could show your love? We're now going to say a prayer. If you would like to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. If you do not wish to pray, just listen quietly and think your own thoughts. Dear God, thank you for all the people who show us love. Please help us never to take that love for granted, but to say thank you in our words and actions. Please help us to look for opportunities to show others that we care for them. Amen. If you'd like to sing a song, go to the front page of our website. Have a lovely day and I will speak to you tomorrow. God bless.